All right, so it's been over a week since I've posted my last video, and I hope you guys will kind of give me a little bit of slack. I've been trying to keep up as much as I can, but I've just been, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff, as you guys know, and I have just been using the time to really work on my art and try to build up my portfolio because that's kind of been my main focus right now is just to really get my art portfolio big enough so that I can start looking for tattoo apprenticeships. I talked to my tattoo artist and he wants me to make about uh, hundreds of like little flash uh, designs that uh, apparently are supposed to be something that I can start tattooing straight away instead of doing complex stuff like portraits. So I've just been trying to get something really, you know, basic down and hopefully it'll be adequate. He told me that I should only bring in the last few ones that I make out of the hundreds because those are going to be the best ones, but I think some of the designs that I'm making already are pretty good, but I also have to make sure that I put them all on a big sheet of paper instead of having small papers that end up getting cut off, and then I can have multiple flash designs on that paper. So I'll show you some of the art that I made in the end of the video, but right now I want to talk about the certain state that is ideal for smoking DMT because originally I thought that when you were doing psychedelics the whole set and setting thing was important and usually I thought that that meant that you're supposed to be in a happy state of mind and the bizarre thing is that anytime that I've tried to do heavy doses of DMT or any type of psychedelic, usually when I'm happy, that's when the experience is not as um, easy to endure. Just because I think that when you're not really going through anything that's trying in your life uh, and you're comfortable, whenever you basically go into an ego death experience, you think to yourself, you know, why am I going through the death experience or uh, facing my death when everything's good in my life. And I think that's been an interesting dynamic and I think it goes against the common uh, recommendation that you're supposed to be in a happy state of mind when you trip. Because for me, uh, since you guys know I've been dealing with a lot of depression and truthfully it's been getting even worse, it's hard for me to get out of bed. Um, I have to basically force myself and I have bad nightmares and uh, a lot of despair when I wake up. Um, in this state, I've noticed throughout my life that when I've been, when I've been feeling like this, it, uh, it, it's actually a lot more, um, it's a lot easier for me to actually have the DMT experience and actually face it because I feel like there is actually something that I need to overcome and I... I don't fear it as much because I don't really care that I'm dying because maybe it's a type of suicidal act that I'm going through and and you know when you're when you're in that sort of frame of mind I think that it's easier to face those things because it's actually what you're kind of looking for at the moment and uh, if I were to be happy and content why would I want to go through an experience that basically makes me uh, contemplate, you know, the mortality of myself or um, face something that seems to be permanent. Because a lot of the times in a depressed state, you you end up fantasizing about suicide or fantasizing about ending your life and, and stuff. And DMT seems to work as a, uh, or at least I've used it often as a tool to sort of go through those suicidal uh, uh, motions without actually having to do it for real and I think that that gives me a bit of an edge on um, basically my healing process because I don't have to I can I can go through the acts and experience something very profound without having to actually do something permanent to myself and in the experience it might seem permanent for me but I'm less fearful of that permanence because it's something that I feel I need to go through and um, as you guys know, I don't really think that this experience in the end actually fixes anything. For me, it doesn't. I'm, I'm still even more um, in uh, a lot of 
turmoil than I was even, you know, the last few days. It, it seems to be getting worse. I don't know why. But um, for me, it's, it's just an act that I feel that I need to go through. And it's just something that I feel that it seems to put at least something into perspective. And it makes me think about it more. And I don't know. I, I think I like the fact that I can think about this stuff more when I have those experiences and I can really, um, really get to the bottom of what I think is important about living. And, and right now, whenever I'm in these states, I kind of feel a lack of purpose a little bit and a lack of meaning because the meaning that um, I had before and the things that were driving me to 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 basically get better are are now gone and and I don't really see any any point there's a there's a there's a level of nihilism that I have now that it's just I don't really care that anything's if anything's going well or going not as well it doesn't really matter to me because it doesn't really give me what I want and what I've been trying to um basically I was trying to make someone see more value in me base and that that's kind of my uh motivation to achieve is is i want to be accepted and i want to be appreciated and uh specifically for the people that i most care about and when that's gone there's just there's no real reason for me to to keep pushing forward but i do it anyways because i know that my life is going to be a lot worse if i don't do that and I won't be able to compete with people, and I'll end up just being, you know, even in a in a lower level than than I feel at the moment. So I have to just force myself as much as I can to get out of bed and, and just keep working and keep working towards whatever goals I, I feel that I have. Um, you know, I I really just want what I want in my life is I want to have someone that can be proud of me. I want to make someone proud and. I want someone to appreciate, um, you know, my hard work and and the, the effort I put in because a lot of the time, that is motivated by specific people that I have in my life that I want to make happy. I, you know, I just I want to, I want to. I'm kind of like a serving kind of person. I really want to serve people and I really want to just make them, make them feel secure with what I do and see me as a as a valuable asset into their life and and just yeah just be be proud of me i that's what i really love and uh that's what i search for and and when i lose someone that i feel um i want to make proud and i want to appreciate me I, I take it really hard and um i i have issues i guess letting go of what I, what I, what's ever happened and and uh, it, it, it gets really rough for me because I, I honestly just want to do good in the world. And um, I guess when, when that um, ambition is put into question, then I feel a bit uh, as if it lowers my self-esteem and, and it's hard. And I have to end up working really hard to build up my self-esteem back up to think of myself as worthy and, and things. So that's what I've been doing with my art is just been trying to do that. But, um, you know, I'm probably going to have another DMT experience somewhere down the line. But right now I've just been really sort of laser focused on working on stuff. I don't know when I'm going to have a, an actual psychedelic experience that's longer because right now I'm very paranoid about productivity and I want to make sure that the um the time that i'm spending isn't wasted at all and dmt is nice because it's just five minutes so i can do it and then get right back to work i don't have to wait eight hours plus sleeping more to, to for it to to get out of my system and everything with like four aco dmt so with normal dmt it's it's ideal for my situation i would love to eventually start smoking dmt or eventually start doing four aco dmt and and longer things but i think right now I'm just not in that state and I, I hope I will be at one point I mean I'm hoping this doesn't last forever for me because I'm sure you guys you know are getting tired of hearing me whine about my situation but you know I just wanted to let you guys know that I've still been dealing with a lot of mental health problems specifically just uh, clinical depression and that's probably what's been making me not post as much on my YouTube channel is just because it's really hard for me to sit in front of the camera and do this
But that's about it. I'm gonna try to post another video when I can. Uh, it shouldn't be any longer than a week. Um, probably I'll probably do two or three videos a week if I can. Uh, that I think that that's a that's a reasonable scheduling for me. And I'll leave you guys with some of the artwork that I've been doing. So these are just flash drawings that I've done to basically build up my career as a or build up my portfolio as a tattoo apprentice eventually when I start looking for them. And uh, I'm going to put them on actual large pieces of paper and just have a bunch of flash designs. These were kind of um, in, the, in the moment because I didn't really have much uh, tools available for me in terms of uh, canvases. But now I bought a bunch of paper and canvases, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just have a bunch of designs on one big piece of paper. And then this is a color portrait that I'm working on. It's of Christian Bale in the movie Equilibrium, where he shoots the, ba the boss at the end. And this is just uh, experimenting with skin tones. Uh, this is the first time that I've done it, so it uh, I, I still have a little bit more to learn in terms of how to balance all the different colors of, of skin tone and, and make it look, um, I guess, more aesthetic. But th this wasn't terrible for a first time around. It's been taking such a long time though, so I'm gonna have to just keep working at it and hopefully I can finish it soon. But uh, that's about it. I hope you guys have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next video. So peace out.